Advanced Options for Images in your WordPress post. Welcome to WordPress Vidcast, a daily video podcast featuring WordPress tutorials, theme reviews, plugin reviews, techniques, tactics, tips, and tricks so you can build a niche site, build your small business website, build your brand hub, or build your first website without freaking out. You can build a website with WordPress and I can show you how. The WordPress Vidcast. Use the hell out of WordPress. Welcome to the WordPress Vidcast. I'm your host, Josh Robbs, helping you be your own hero. Today, we're going to do some advanced image settings for your images in your WordPress posts, mainly the margin and border. That doesn't sound very sexy, but there's some cool stuff you can do, and some of these things you need to do just to make your page legible. All right, so let's flip over to the website. This is my dev site. All right, here is an image. This space around it is the default stuff that comes with this theme. Uh, that's, that's a picture of my daughter two months ago. Uh, and this over here is the live version. That's what it would look like. And it's pretty much the same. It's a what you see is what you get editor. Now, we're going to be talking about CSS. And CSS is like a, a shorthand for telling your browser how to dress up the website. You can change fonts, colors, a ton of things you can change. And in this case, we'll be changing, like, like I said, the border and the margin. And if you go see yesterday's uh, yesterday's video on, what was it on? HTML and CSS, I'll explain CSS in there in a little more detail. If you go back one more video, it's how to embed images and other multimedia. So if you don't know how to do that, you probably need to see that before you see this. And these links will be in the show notes. Now, if you want more information on CSS, check out w3schools.com slash CSS. It is a great website, tons of stuff. Sometimes if I'm tweaking something and it's just not working right, I'll come here and play with it. All right. Now, this is very crucial to understand because the order is everything. Now, content is, in this case, your image, but it stands for any block of information in websites. This is a little more advanced. You don't have to worry about this second, but websites spit out information in these these data blocks and um, it sounds more complicated than it is it's really just an identification hi this is a paragraph hi all these paragraphs are together in a division or what whatever so you have this content and around the content you can put some padding the padding is the space between the content and the border the border is the the thin or thick line between the margin and the padding and the margin is the space between the border padding and content and the next set of, of information next block that would be more content padding and border. One thing to notice is the margin is not the space necessarily between two objects. The margin is the space added to this object. So if you have five pixels around this piece of content and it's next to another piece of content with another five pixels, you have 10 pixels in between the two. Something to think about in the future. Now that's, we're pretty much done with that. Let's look at the things we can do to a border. That was mainly about the margins. All right, you can style it, you can do a bunch of stuff, but before we do that, let's actually play with it a little bit. All right, you click on the image, click on the image, you click on the little picture and it brings up your options. Go to advanced settings, and right down here there's two lines we'll be looking at, styles and image properties. Now image properties can be as simple as, I want a five pixel border, put it in a five, tab over the next one, vertically above and below, I want 10 pixels each, so you hit that and hit tab over and I'm, I'll come don't worry about what it says in the styles box I'll, I'll beat that up in a second and you want 25 pixels left and right you just put it in and it automatically creates the CSS type information right here border 5 pixels solid black and it always ends with a semicolon before it goes to the next variable in this case the next one's margin and this is a shorthand version of um, if you have just two numbers two entries, it's uh, top and bottom, left and right, or you can combine it, hold on, you can combine it, and that would mean that you have 25 pixels of space all the way around. Now, in case you didn't notice it, and you look at the picture up here, I'll top it around. I'm going to delete this vertical space, and then tab out of there, and now it says margin left, margin right. You can go through and make each margin top bottom left right unique now I'm going to delete that it, 
it deletes everything and then I'm going to add something just a vertical space and now you can see margin dash top margin dash bottom so you can go throughout it and set top bottom left right each one completely unique should you need to I'm going to put 10 in here just so you can see it after you do that you go down to update and hit preview it will change this page and we'll look at it and now we have more space down here less space here more space on top not a big deal right why should I care well you don't need to care a ton but you need to make sure that your video your video or whatever is embedded there in this case we're talking about images make sure your image has enough space that it's viewable and you need to know that maybe there's something haywire and you have too much of a margin and you need to go in there and manually shrink it or maybe you don't like the color black you can go in here advanced settings and change that color to ignore the pop-ups change it to red if you look at the picture it turns red Oops. or you can make it green actually it's easier if you update it and go back into it it went back to black because it went back to black because there was something still in the box if you save it and come back to it it won't do that we can make it blue you can make it oh I know what it's doing I'm, I'm tabbing into that bo box and then tabbing out that's the problem so we're just gonna give it give it a simple margin and then we'll update go back into it and advanced settings and make it red you're not going to tab. Um, now, lo now look. Let's look at what else we can do. Actually, I'm going to show you this on, on the the big screen. There it goes. Red and live. It would be red. Now this doesn't let you set a margin, and I don't know why you would. But there's that. All right. Border options. Let's do inset. Let's see what inset how inset looks on my baby picture. So instead of solid, you just put in in set. Update preview. There, so it looks like it's sunk down in. Kind of sneaky. But there's also we'll do dash. No, we'll do dotted. I like dotted. T T E D update preview other window and now you have big dots which you can make completely absurd should you want to 5px px stands for pixels so that you need a measure for computer graphics and now we have completely absurd you don't fit very many in there All right, that's so absurd it's actually annoying me. So we'll turn tune that down a little bit. Make it 15, and we'll go play with the margin. So let's give it a. Well, actually, let, let, I'm gonna go right into. Well, actually, we're gonna do this. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make everything the same so that we get just one variable. Update. Everything's nice and neat. Preview. Let's look at that. And there it is. Nice and neat. All the margins are the same. Now, get back into it. Advanced settings. You don't have to do all four sides. If you want to do each side individually, you don't have to put in margin top, margin bottom, blah, 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 blah. It knows that you're probably going to do all kinds of editing. So they made it easy for coders. You just have to remember, you start at the top and go clockwise. So it's top, right, bottom left now watch this top we'll do a hundred pixels we'll leave that six pixels we'll make the bottom 500 pixels and we'll make the left margin negative 33 pixels this is very ugly oops wrong one very ugly I don't know why you'd ever do it but So 
then you have this huge space and actually I'll make that bigger so you can see it easier we're, we're gonna drop this back down to more reasonable we'll say 50 we'll make this 50 make that 10 and make this 60 double it and then you update hit preview and now here's a cool effect you actually have the picture drug off the side a little bit and I'll make this even more obvious by zeroing out the other options why would you have to set zero you'd have to set zero if your your default style sheet has a um, if it has a default value and you want zero and it's actually trying to make it something else so there it is you have this offset yeah let's draw white on white oh we'll try something else see this line right here you've actually pulled the picture past it kind of neat huh so that, that's what you can do. I mean, you can you put the borders on it. You can adjust it, space it, give it some breathing room. The number one thing you want to do with it is give breathing room. Create a little bit of white space because this is ugly. And if I take the board, let's take the border out completely. Sorry, my phone's ringing. I'm trying to ignore it. Take the border out completely and have no margin it's all pressed up on it and the only reason why this is not a right smack dab underneath it is the size of this image if you look how the line is there's a, a natural little bit of uh, margin there even on the letters and, and so that this doesn't actually flow underneath but yeah you want to give it some breathing room five ten pixels is all you need to do just just to create a little bit of white between them or whatever the background color of your your website is um, borders whatever you do I just really suggest you write it down keep a little notebook where you can track all the the style rules that you follow how big is your pixel did you change the color did you change the style uh, how much what's the margin what what are the colors in case you need to you know colors of other things you know that would go in your style sheet too or your your cheat sheet for your style I guess they call it a style guide I call it just my notebook but whatever and there's that. If you have any questions, email me, josh at wpvidcast.com, or just go to WPVidcast, wpvidcast.com and leave me a note. Until next time, folks, remember, if you're building a website and you want to get better, you need to build it, break it, and then build it better. Good night.